review uh, Bluehost with you today. Uh, I consider it to be one of the best web hosting companies on the web. They've been around for a long time, uh, which they have a great track record with, with a lot of different websites. And um, they're a great company, so I just wanted to review that with you today. Basically, when you come to the homepage, you'll notice a few things. They've got unlimited domain hosting, unlimited hosting space, unlimited file transfer, unlimited email accounts. They give you a lot of uh, generous, you know, it's, everything's unlimited, so you don't have to worry about going over or uh, getting shut down because you had too much traffic. Um, you get a free domain name when you sign up. They've got a free site builder and some other neat features. Um, One-click installs is probably the the, the most uh, used feature that I use. And uh, just diving in real quick, uh, 4 dollars a month is just a really great price for hosting. You know, that comes out to about $60, $70 a year. Um, Six ninety five is what it uh, usually is. Uh, Four ninety five. They've got a special going on. They've had this special going on for a little while. Uh, they probably will continue with the four ninety five price. But you know, just come back to the homepage and uh, they'll they'll update this price accordingly. But the link below in my description will actually have the best price that you can get uh, with Bluehost. So make sure you click that to get the best price uh, available. Now I did mention the one click in uh, script installs. Uh, WordPress, Joomla, Drupal, Roundcube. Literally, you can install these with one click of a button. It installs in you know 30 seconds, uh, depending on how fast you can type, really. So um, I'm going to dive into that in a little bit. I use WordPress for all of my websites, um, so I love to have that one click feature. It saves me a lot of time. You know, WordPress has the the uh, five minute install uh, but if you can install it in 20 seconds I'd rather do that um, so that's what I use here and uh, let's just dive into the cPanel so I'm gonna come over here to the cPanel this is where all the action happens if you want to deal with your emails uh, if you want to deal with installing WordPress um, you got your file manager here so you can log in and add files upload uh, your domains um, so if you wanted to have an add-on domain or manage the domains that are there um, and some other options as well <clears throat> let's dive into the WordPress site builder I love this to one-click install as you see you've got a few options down here um, here's the WordPress option so we'll just dive into that click that then on this page you're simply going to click uh, on the install button under install WordPress then when you get to this page, you're going to choose the domain name that you'd like to install WordPress on. If your domain name doesn't show up there yet, uh, simply go back to the cPanel and add on the domain um, or configure it, you know, set it up before you can use it. But once it's set up, you select it here from this drop down list. And then you enter a title. Um, let's just say my awesome website. And they've got some neat uh, plugins, a few plugins, uh, a theme here uh, that they are going to basically instantly install with your WordPress site. So if you're kind of at a loss for how do I design my website, um, they've got a nice, you know, small biz theme that you can uh, will be installed and you can use with your website. And just click this box here. So you read the terms and conditions of the GPL version 2 license and then hit complete now on the next page you're actually going to get the details um, the username and the password um, and able to go to the install and log in change the password for your user and start building your WordPress website and again if you have this theme installed um, you can go and work with that theme you can work with some of these plugins you can start installing your own plugins but it's really that simple it's just an easy quick WordPress install I'm going to give Bluehost a 10 out of 10 uh, mainly because all the features that they have uh, but their customer service is outstanding um, I've tried a number of hosting companies I've tried GoDaddy I've tried one and one I've tried just host um, I've tried HostGator there's a few others that I've tried that you may not even even heard about 
Um, but I've tried the majority of hosting companies. One of the things that frustrates me installing WordPress on a GoDaddy install is it takes a you know it takes a couple of days to actually get your login, which is I think is ridiculous. It's like they have people manually installing your WordPress install. Um, and the other thing is when you install it, it's it's just really hard to work with. I think GoDaddy, you know, they were built on uh, domain names, and when they added some of these other features, they just they're not really paying attention to it. But Bluehost does a great job of uh, paying attention to every aspect of the services that they offer. And it's only four ninety five a month. Great price. Um, very comparable to um, other hosting companies. In fact, I think it's one of the cheapest, um, if not you know the same amount as another hosting company. But I think they are the cheapest uh, right now, especially with special offers. Um, so take advantage of those while they're there and especially uh, if you click the link below in the description you'll obviously get the maximum discount available um, so make sure you click that to you know all the coupon codes and anything will be entered as you click the link thanks for listening to my review of bluehost hosting services hey everybody it's mike and today i want to go over a company called bluehost Dot com and Bluehost I've been using them for a little over four years now and these guys have been absolutely awesome they give me the best value and bank for my buck and I always when I start a new website or when I want to do something I always check and make sure I'm getting the best deal and it's always coming back to these guys at Bluehost they're they offer the best value for the money there's just nothing nothing I don't like about them to be honest with you um, you know the best thing one of the best things is the support center that you get and you can really get a hold of support any way you like and it's 24 7 they're always there and they're always great uh, there's email support you have phone support and you have live chat support so really any way you want to take care of it it's not a problem you can see here you can track your tickets you can look at FAQs uh, quick little video tutorials on the simple things to do pretty much you name it they've got it and they can help take care of it now a little bit about them they've been doing this since 1996 that's back when the internet was still in its infancy and their technology is second to none they have a 50,000 square foot headquarters with two different secondary data centers so their uptime is second to none you can check out all the details on their site here and the best thing of all is the feature pack that you get and as you can see here I'm not gonna go through and read every bit of it but it's pretty much got all the bells and whistles this is not just a bare bones hosting type of a scenario here this is full featured hosting it has all the things that you would need regardless of what you want to do online so you gotta check them out their web hosting is second to none it's bluehost.com is their website and right now they have a promotion going on right now where you can get in at $4.95 per month for their professional web hosting. So it's absolutely the best and lowest cost. So if you're starting a business online of any kind, then you're going to want to check these guys out because this is going to keep your overhead down and keep you in the money. We wanted to take a few minutes to show you just how simple it is to get a WordPress powered website online with the help of Bluehost's web hosting services. There are a lot of web hosting companies out there to choose from, but we recommend Bluehost to most of our clients and website visitors because of their reliability, customer service, pricing, and their easy WordPress installation. To get started, click on the link to Bluehost that is located below this video. Once you're on Bluehost's website, click on the Sign Up Now button. If you haven't yet registered a domain name for your website, you can do that now, and the domain name will be free courtesy of Bluehost. So if you don't already have a domain name, you can enter the one you want here and click on the next button. If you have already registered your domain name somewhere else, you can just enter it where it says I have a domain name and click on the next button. Now you'll enter your information, such as your name, address, phone number, and email address. When you're just getting started, you don't need any of the upgrades that they offer. For example, the Pro Package, 
or the Site Domain Security. You may, however, want to consider the Site Backup Pro. The reason for this is it's only $13 a year and it sets up an automated daily backup of your website. If something would ever happen to your site, this service makes it easy to restore your site. You'll also need to choose a length for your account plan. You can choose between 12, 24, and 36 months. You'll save a small amount if you go with a longer term, but we typically recommend going with a 12-month plan so you are not locked into anything long term. Then, enter your credit card information and check the box to agree to the terms of service and click on the next button. After that, you will be prompted to set up a password and your account will be created. After signing up for the hosting account, you will get an email from Bluehost that provides the details of your account, including a link to log in. Once you are logged into your account, you'll see your control panel. If you just registered a new domain when you signed up for the Bluehost account, you will be able to install WordPress and start using your website right away. If you already had an existing domain name, you will need to change the name servers on that domain name to point to Bluehost servers. You'll find instructions for that in the welcome email from Bluehost. For now, we will assume that you just registered a new domain name and it is ready to go. Installing WordPress on a Bluehost server is super simple. You'll want to scroll down in your control panel to the section that says Site Builders and click on WordPress. Click on the button to install a brand new version. We're going to show you how to upload one of our free themes so you can skip over the ad to buy a theme. The most recent stable version of WordPress will be listed first, so you can just leave that as it is. You'll then want to select which domain name you want to use for the WordPress installation. If you have multiple domains set up on your account, you'll be able to select a domain from a drop-down menu. If you click on the advanced options, you'll have a field to give your site a title. You can also set up a username and password, or by default it will Use admin as the username and it will auto-generate a strong password. Make sure you leave the box checked automatically to create a new database. Under step 3, plugins and themes, you can uncheck those boxes or leave them checked. In step 4, you'll need to check the box. If you're not already familiar with the license details, you can click the link to read the terms and conditions, then click complete and the WordPress will be installed. Once your WordPress site is installed, it will bring up this screen giving you the basic information of your site. It is important to keep a copy of all this information so that you can access your site and make changes. The two URLs that it lists, first is your actual site, which you can click on and get a preview of what your WordPress site currently looks like with the default theme. The second URL that it gives you is your login page. This is where you can access your site with your username and password. New WordPress installations use a default theme and some generic content that you can delete. We're now going to upload one of the free themes that we offer. Before you can do this, you will need to download one of the themes from our site and save it somewhere on your computer. We'll assume that you've already done that. From your WordPress dashboard, hover over the appearance in the left sidebar and then click Themes. Once you are there, go to the top and click on Install Themes. Then select Upload. Click Browse to find the theme that you've downloaded to your computer. Select the file, click Open, and then click Install Now. WordPress will upload the theme and you can see a message that the upload was successful. 
you can then click on the activate link and the theme will be active on your site. Now if you look at your homepage, you'll see the new theme. In order to get the site looking the way that you want, you can follow the documentation that we provide which shows you how to set up the various pages of your site. It's that easy. In just a few minutes you can register a domain name and get signed up for hosting with Bluehost and you can install WordPress and one of our free themes. And be sure to check out the documentation for each theme as it will help you to get the site set up the way you want it. Thanks for watching.